Welcome back again to the channel. In today's session, we'll learn how we can create multilingual portals or internet side uh, in different different languages. So to explain this entire concept, we'll be leveraging newly introduced SharePoint feature of uh, multiple site languages. So we are not going to use any classic approach of variations, but we are going to use the newly introduced feature. So to explain that entire thing, I am just want to showcase you the uh, ready product or uh, my ready internet site which is in multiple languages so this is my internet site and which is showing few news and uh, showing events and uh, possibly some frequently used documents so right now because my preferred language is English so everything is being displayed in English and let's say if I, my, my colleague is based out in Germany and he's having preferred language as German then uh, he would see a different page so if I just Go to the right hand side and change that setting to German, then it will start showing me the data into German. So the entire news and the section would be in German. So I kept the, these uh, translate into German tags because so that we can make a clear distinction that is a German language. So we can get rid of that as well. So in a while, I'll, I'm going to showcase that to you. <coughs> so if I just move around inside these pages, let's let, let me click on this one of the news. And if I go into that page, so that if you see in the top URL, it's taking a page from our this subfolder that is DE, and it's keeping that German uh, language setting as intact. And if I move across the entire site, everything would be in German. Uh, of course, like whatever pages we have translated, because it's this is not a auto translation service. It's a manual translation, but gives us more flexibility to control the entire translation. So let's uh, go back to the home page. So as I said, uh, if I click on this drop down of languages, you can see I can see Dutch language, English, German, and Danish has dropped. And why that is dropped, I'm going to showcase that to you, why that is dropped. So let's start the demo on a scratch, uh, on, a, on a just a blank side. So this is my just plain blank side. And first of all, uh, to enable the setting, I have to go to the gear icon and under the gear icon i can go to the site information my motive is to get to the uh, site setting page so from here i can click on the view all site settings and under the site administration uh, i can see one uh, link is there for language settings if i click on that i'll be redirected to a page where i can set the site languages so by default you see it's turned off that's why on my this internet portal uh, internet site I was not seeing any option of changing the language if I just open and just showcase that to you again so I'm not having any drop down to change the data the languages if I turn that on it will start giving me add or remove languages so by default because we are already having English so English is there and let's say if I would like to have the German or Spanish then I can just type there or otherwise I can just click on this drop down which will give me all the uh, languages which are available for uh, translation so if I click on show advanced settings it gives me option of overwrite translation so I'll explain you in a while like what is that overwrite translation and I'm just clicking on save So my language setting is saved and if I go back to my home page you can see I started getting this drop down and this drop down is right now showing me only English and why that so because we have not created any page for German or Spanish language whatever we have selected so these are home page now just start with home page uh, how to translate the home page content so if you can see this there is a button translation so if I click on that one it will open one panel and which says that create for all languages or it saying Spanish create because I'm having just one single language so that's why it's saying Spanish otherwise let's say I'm having Dutch, German and um, any other language then it will uh, be easier for me to click on the create for all pages so what it does it, it, it if I click on create then it will create one page within one 
uh, that site page library and create one folder for, for that uh, uh, specific language. So if I just go to my site pages library, so I can see one ES folder for Spanish has been created. So whatever languages we would be having, all the folders will get created and the pages will be will be created under these uh, uh, specific folders. So Spanish for Spanish homepage is created there. So now uh, as we have just created one uh, uh, variable one for a language, now how to translate the content. So let me just go back to my site settings so that I can show you one important thing which we script. So now you can see translator there is an option for translator so I can pick the users from my organization to translate the Spanish page so let's say um, we are having a, a person or a webmaster which is responsible for Spanish content then we can just type in that guy name uh, in this translator thing and uh, whenever that English page or the default page gets published then automatically one notification would be sent out to, to this Spanish guy that uh, something has changed or a new page is created please tra start translating the content so for now let's let me just put my name there so that we can see what the mail content is and until unless that translator approves the content or update the content that uh, page would be seen as draft so I'm just going back to home and now I can see that Spanish is in draft because we created that page but we did not add any content Spanish content to it so I can just click on Spanish draft and you see it does have all the default thing but it's not translated because why this is kept as open because sometimes it happens like the auto translation which used to be uh, working uh, does not translate the intent of that sentence so for example if uh, somebody is saying how are you and it should be translated in Spanish or German in the same way those person are using as in local so it should it should uh, sometimes like uh, the auto translation services doesn't care of that th those intents so that's why like it is it has kept open and flexible like whatever Spanish person would like to have that or a public uh, the port publisher would like to have that content then he can able to make those updates so now I'm in Spanish page so I'll just edit this and we'll just simply open the Google Translator because this is demo so I'm not worried about like whether I'm translating the content correctly or not so I'll just use what is that uh, uh, in the Spanish because it does give us flexibility of like updating these the, the top headers as well so I, in the home page I just added this, uh, this uh, adding for news and now I've just updated it. So if I just go back and just uh, refresh my site internet page and go back to English. So it's saying news and in Spanish it's showing that not because. So now I'm creating new pages and for each and every page I'll use I will follow the same steps creating the uh, translated content so let me just add one quick news let's say the annual results or annual performance of the company of XMIT and if I'm just posting this so this will be posted in English language and I would able to see uh, if I go to uh, the Spanish one I would able to see the same content but that is still not translated in XMIT because the the, uh, the translator so if I just go to my Outlook translator uh, should get one email that you have to like uh, make a translation for that whatever uh, the content being changed so uh, I will just see if I get some okay this is not that one so still I did not receive that email
but the infant is the internal the email body would be having that uh, the buttons whether I would like to start translating it to or like I can just uh, simply say publish so now I am under Spanish page let me go to the internet and refresh it out and if I just go to my this internal page and I can just use the same translator and just translate the content and just uh, because I'm under the Spanish page I'll just update not here I need to go to the inside of that page and I'll just make the updates and just update the news So uh, my page is published now. I can go back to my site and just navigate to the pages. So this current selection is Spanish and it's showing me news. If I click on the news, and it will give me that the, the translated news. And if I just go back to my site and under the English, the everything would be displayed in English. So the thing is. Uh, the thing is, uh, this is not an auto translation service like variation because uh, the maintaining variations was a complex part. But uh, now Microsoft has taken the, the entire new approach of giving the flexibility to the publishers to update their content. But in my personal opinion, what I could see that there, there are so many auto translate connectors in flow, so that has to be get tied up. Uh, with these translation pages in future so that the auto translation can be take, taken place so publisher in, in publishing not to like uh, look at the entire content and then translate they just need to review it whether the intention of that content is correct or not so that uh, feature i'm hoping that will come uh, in some time in future so let's see but right now till this level also like we have to have a lot of flexibility while creating our internet pages so I hope uh, uh, this could be a useful feature if you want to like take a look on designing your intranet and uh, possibly may help you out as well. So that's it I believe. Thank you.